folks, this is Paul again, and the video we are going to show you tonight is, I guess I'll call it, What's in the Case? And this is uh, one of the cases that I had sitting in storage, and I thought I would pull it out and show you guys what's inside. Um, I was kind of glancing over it the other day, and it's kind of cool to let these things out of the box and let them breathe. So I will slowly just take them out of the case here and show you what's inside. And this is kind of an older, cheap ma matchbox case. This is when they, uh, in my opinion, the matchbox era wasn't so great. It's like they were really geared to the kids in this era so let's just open the case and see what's inside okay there's the top tray and let's see the first car that's in there and this is a Johnny Lightning 1969 Pontiac GTO in black with flames. It does have plastic tires. Looks like gray rims with the black hubs. It's a nice black GTO, black interior, nice yellow flame on the front. And then you got the painted tail lights with the silver bumper. And you got the nice fin on the back. And I think it says, it's hard to read, but I think it does say GT, the judge right there, I believe. And this is GTO. And then let's see, yeah, the hood opens on this thing also. Let's see, you get the hood to stay open. It's hard to see the engine. It's just all black. Sorry about that. Okay, that's a Johnny Lightning, and then here we got an old Matchbox. I mean, not Matchbox, but a Hot Wheels, and this is called Steel Flame. And you have this like, almost like a Spectra. It looks like a nice sparkly white with the blue and red stripes going over the top. Tonahoe cover, and you do got real riders on this thing. And this is an okay pack casting. And you got tail lights on this thing. Sorry, it's not focusing. It does have a plastic base though. And I'm not sure, but it does say. 2002 on the base. I'm not sure if that is the actual year it came out. But you got the red and white and blue tamples on the side. So see some custom truck. It's okay there. Then we got another Hot Wheels. And I think this was one of the Ultra Hots, they called it. It has an orange paint job. And the back portion of the wood paneling and stuff is plastic. There's wood paneling. You got the black roof. You got tail lights on there. You do got a metal base with real riders on it. And you got an opening hood. There's not much detail inside. But you got painted headlights and a painted grill. It doesn't want to stay focused here. It's a cool little car, and I know it's a Woody. It's a 37 Ford Woody there. Okay, and the next one I'm going to take a look at is this truck here. And I believe this is a Maisto. Yes, it's a Maisto. 
and I believe that's a metal base. It's a 1987 Chevy 1500 custom pickup truck there with the tonneau cover. Tail light detail. You got the chrome bumper. You got the front chrome grille. There's no detail there. But you do got the hood that shows a whole chrome engine compartment with the engine in there. And you got the silver grayish flames on the side. It's like you got gray interior with a silver steering wheel there. And then this does come off. And it does have the Chevy logo back there. You got rubber tires. And it's an okay piece. And then the next one is going to be another Hot Wheels here. And this is a Nissan Skyline. It's not as good as the new Skylines that are coming out nowadays, but this has real riders on it, plastic base. It's a nice rainbow paint job there. And it does have a plastic wing. I think it's changed now. I don't think it has a plastic wing anymore. You got the black head lights on there. You got this nice lightning bolt tampo with Nissan. Yellow, orange, red going on there. You got the black interior. I'm not sure where this came out of. But I know it was some somewhat premium. So the rubber tires and the paint job. Okay, and the next one we're going to look at is this green light. And this is, I believe, a Plymouth Fury. I'm not sure the exact year. But it's black. Green interior. And then you got that yellowish greenish flames on the sides and across the hood, the roof. You got all that chrome silver trim. You got these rubber tires. These nice rims on there. You got the metal base. And this is 4407, the number. There's a front detail. And let's see. Tail lights in the rear. And it doesn't want to focus there. Let's see. I'm trying to read the license plate. I just can't read it. And then let's see. The hood opens. orange motor in there pretty cool okay the next one is going to be a Ford I think this was from the ultra hots back in the day it's a Ford panel this purple paint job got the nice deco on the roof there and on the hood that engine sticking out the hood does tilt forward which the newer ones do not do that or the later ones that came out later you got the tail lights painted you got real riders with the white wall on there comes with the metal base and it says 56 Ford panel the chrome interior has a terrier and the engine is all one piece very nice, okay, and the next one, I believe this is from the 100% line, it came in a canister, and I know this is from the 30s, I'm not sure the exact year, but yeah, this came in a canister, it was a 100% line, got a little wear and tear right there, it looks like. But you do got the headlights, the chrome grille. 
at the rubber tires these nice rims there's the rear get the white interior got the white plastic roof chrome steering wheel with the chrome shifter and what's nice about this is you got the got the chrome exhaust chrome rear suspension axle chrome drive shaft and you got the black front axle and then the engines right there it's pretty detailed and then also if we could get the sucker open I gotta open it too far but the hood opens it's hard to see in there but it does open there just don't want to force it and break it and then we got two more in this tray and this is also from the ultra hots back in the day and this is the barracuda originally was released in 1967 got this nice orange paint job you got those flames on the side you got the rear riders with the red line going around the rim it's not much detail in the back you got the black and the silver headlights metal base black interior and the hood does open on this one there's not much detail in it just painted the silverish gray in there but it's a nice piece there and then we got one another one almost the same car but it's Plymouth Barracuda this one with the engine with no hood in the front it's like a spectra flame purple or something you got those ghost flames I guess you'd say it says King Cuda there he has the center line rims does have the metal base same detail front and back you got the white interior it's a pretty nice piece okay and the next tray we're gonna look at in the last tray Is a full tray of cars and we're just going to go through these real quick and the first one is a Hot Wheels and this is called the Gangster Grin I think this is the designers challenge or something where they had designers from different auto manufacturers design cars and this is one of them it's a Gangster Grin I think it was supposed to be modeled after a Ford, I think, some type of Ford. I don't remember. Maybe you guys could leave comments and tell me, but it's like a purplish color. You got the silver stripe going along the top there. Got this flame going around the sides. Got these like cobalt style rims, I think they called them. Red windshield. Plastic base. And then we got this Jag here, and this is also Hot Wheels. Can't remember what line this came from, but it does have a metal base. And you got the chrome exhaust on the bottom of the base. I'm trying to read what it says there. I can't read it. And then you got the tail light detail and the silver headlights and the Jaguar on the grill there or on the front there. And you got the black around the windows, the black trim around the doors, and you got this grayish interior. And then we do have a hood that opens. The opposite way, you can see all the chrome in there. You got these. 
These are the cheaper real rider tires. Pretty skinny, but I guess it works for this car. And then we've got another Jag, and this is a convertible. This is a Johnny Lightning 19. This is 1999 Play Manus. Not sure what year this is, but you got the plastic wheels. It's like two part two piece wheels. And you got the headlights painted, the bumper, turn signals. You got the bumper and tail lights there. Black fold down roof in the back. The gray grayish tan interior. Trim around the window, and then you do have, you could open that and see all the, all the chrome in there. Nice piece there. And then the next one we're going to look at is another Hot Wheels Mercedes. It's like spectra, or it's like this sparkly red color, tan interior. It does come with those, I, don't know, I call them cheaper rail riders, chrome with the red on it. They are rubber. Tires are narrow. It does come with the metal base. And you see what got the tail light detail. There's a little Mercedes emblem, I believe. And there's that one on the hood. Got the headlights. Grill. Then here's another one I believe was the 100% line. And I don't remember what this thing was called, but it's pretty cool. You got those custom rear rider tires, front and rear, nice chrome exhaust coming off the sides. You got the yellow interior with the black plastic roof, the nice bed. They make it kind of like wood paneling on the sides. Goes around the back. Do have a metal base. Those front tires. The chrome rail there. Headlights. And then we got this where that comes off. So you can see more of the motor. Okay, and then we're going to look at the next one. And this is another Hot Wheels 100% line, I believe. And I'm not sure what year this is. This is a 1968 AMX. This lime green color. The black stripe going up across the whole top. Silver trim around the windows. Black interior. Got the headlights, the grill, the turn signals painted. Painted tail light. These are plastic tires with the chrome rim in there. The metal base, you do got the painted detail on the bottom. And the hood does open on this and you can see. See this? Let's see if I could get it in an angle. You can see it does have. You can see the detailed motor, chrome red. You got that one. Then the next one you have is this Corvair from Johnny Lightning. And I'm not sure what year it is. Nice blue, you got the blue silver top. So 
you know, the painted detail on the front. So painted tail lights. Okay. There's this one, and then the back opens up. So you can see that nice engine in the rear. Sorry about the lighting. It's very hard to see the motors. Sorry. Okay, and then here's another one. This is actually a custom I did. And this is an old Hot Wheels. I think it's called the Lickety Six, 1977, and then I put the Real Riders on it. Fronts are Real Riders. The rear, I think that came from a Muscle Machines dragster. Got a little chrome, and then you give it this nice sparkly blue paint job. Okay, and then here's the super van that I was making a custom out of it and didn't finish. It does have the rear riders on it. It's the original super van from I think the 70s. 1974 Mattel, but I know it's an older, the older version because it has a metal base, but the body's all painted primer. So I could paint it. Dark window. Still the base has to be attached. Then I've got three more to look at, and I think this is I think this is a Johnny Lightning, I can't remember. But the body is metal, the window. A lot of other stuff is light plastic. You got that tan interior. You got the motor sticking out. Black paint job. And it says James Jalopy on the side there. And that says it looks like Kill Boy. You got the white wall tires, rubber tires. It's like baby blue with the chrome hubcaps. And you got this black interior with the axles and everything and motor you can see. Then we got two more and they're 257 Chevys and I think these came out of the ultra hots. This one has nice shiny blue paint job with the flames on the side. Bluish white flames. The silver trim going down the whole side around the door jams, around the windows. Very nice piece. The hood does open. Not much detail there. And it does have the rear riders with the middle base. Front and rear tires are the same size. The 57 Chevy. And then last but not least is the red one from the same set. It's just this one's red. Everything else is pretty much the same. There's the rear. There's the front. You got the metal base. Same silver trim, white interior. Very nice piece. And I think that's going to be it for all these.
and I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video please give a thumbs up like and subscribe to the channel and please leave comments because I do read them and I wish everybody a good night and I will see you at the next video thank you